Hi and welcome to Friday's Live Trading. Just preparing everything at the moment. So we're just looking at a lot of these markets of sort of pointing southwards. But pretty early in the morning, we're still 8.20 actually. It's, it's moved on a little bit now. But uh, normally we often, I say normally, we often get price action that uh, starts, starts heading south and, and pre-8 o'clock it may just run for a few minutes post 8 o'clock and then we get complete reversal so just being a bit patient at the moment so just going to put this on pause whilst we wait round to see if we can find something setting up nice so identifying this tra potential trade in the Aussie here we've been running up in these higher lows higher highs through this section here the markets are turning around a little bit as I watch this and I'm looking at potentially for this Aussie to get back towards its R1. Certainly there's a sort of channel that's running up here, may just take a bit of time. It's going to be a quietish day, just looking to see if it breaks this 30 minute 8 and I'll uh, be looking to go long on this. Now it's not millions of points involved in this uh, movement but uh, it's got some, got some half decent price action so um, potential so around about one and a half, two to one probably if we put, put a generous stop on it. But um, if it triggers, so that's what I'm looking for. Simple um, upward trending channel that we're seeing here. It's finding a bit of support at the moment. If it triggers, it needs to trigger that uh, 30 minute eight, get through that 30 minute eight. If it can trigger through that, I'm gonna be long looking for the daily R1 so that's what I'm looking for at the moment. Okay, so we're probably the Aussie's starting to move up. Just drop down to a five minute chart, looking at the price action here. I need to really just come back to, I can look at it on another chart here. I've got it, got another little chart. So I'm just watching for the 5.8. Now that uh, 5.8 sitting, let's just make that bigger chart for a moment. It's sitting at 6886087 okay so we're looking really at that 5 minute round about that 5 minute 50 ish to uh, be going long um ticket sitting there waiting just uh, as soon as I put the recording equipment on of course it's pulled back so we'll uh, pause for a moment along so the Aussie's trying here to push on up so just getting ready, ticket ready, if it triggers, it's just running through, I'm looking at a different time frame here as well, I know there's that 5 minute 50 right in front of me, I'm looking at uh, a 30 minute time frame as well here, looking at a 30 minute 8, I'm just waiting for it to get through that as opposed to just sitting on that, if it can pay post its head through it. I'm uh, going to be long here. Just patience at the moment. Waiting if it doesn't. I'm not going to give this a lot longer this uh, trade. If it doesn't set up in the next sort of 10-15 minutes it was obviously hasn't gotten the momentum and okay it's consolidating where it is so it may be just consolidating before it picks the momentum up but I would like to see it uh, a little bit uh, stronger No, it's not happening for a moment, so I should pause the video again. Okay, so we're moving now. I'm ooh, nearly nearly sold it. Um, I shall be buying it. <laughs> Here we go. Just bought. So bought at around about 86. Hopefully I haven't sold at the same time there. Oh, I just closed. Oh. Did manage to sell it. So I did manage to click on both sides of that, so I've uh, had to uh, reopen the position. So I'm in. <laughs> very quick price action there. Got a very sensitive little button there. I, I, unfortunately, I, I literally um, there's 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 a trying to be quick sort of button. Literally, um, literally uh, sold it by mistake there. Was pressed the wrong button too quickly. Then, then bought the right, hit the right button. That's cancelled the order position out, and then hit the. I'll be quite honest, I went and clicked on the pound button instead. Then I went on my main system here. Anyway, I'm currently in the position. So 
Um, I just need to, need to put the stop on it. Here you go. I'm just uh, using my uh, platform here. I'm just going to put the 15 pip stop on it. it well, let's do it manually. Don't like doing that. 15. Oops. Put the right. Use the right keyboard. 15. Not 125. They are 15. He says. A bit slow this morning. There you go. 15 stop. I'll I'll set the target in a moment, but um, just confirm that through. So we've got the 15 pip stop on. Eventually got in at uh, 0.6 below where I really wanted to be in because I messed up on pressing the buttons. But this happens sometimes, even to uh, us, all of us. <laughs> so sitting in there, we'll just leave that being. That's just uh, actually let's just set the target in terms of. Um, may as well pop that in whilst I'm whilst I'm here. So really looking at that 6906 area. It's not uh, as I say, it's not massive. Um, we'll drop it um, a, a couple of pips below that, so 69.04, so uh, put that on here just so we'll put the target in, uh, just 69.06, uh, okay, something's going wrong there for me, why, why is it, what's happening, I've clicked on another button in between, 69.06 so just adjusting that so it's not a great risk reward on this one it's uh, actually I'll put 69.05 and leave that on there 69.05 so there we are I'll pause this at this stage and we'll see what happens Okay, so just looking at the Aussie dollar, it looks very closely like it's going to stop me out. We've just not, um, it's just not worked. It started off quite nicely on the Aussie dollar, pushed up, rolled back. Um, got closish at that point to come back. It's pushed back up again. And then we've just seen all this chop through this period. It's not too, dis this is a five minute chart. It's not too dissimilar to many of the other markets. They've been just in, in quite a tight range. It, it looked nice this morning when I looked at it looking at this time frames here it, it sort of it back a few hours now of course it just looked like well it's gonna it's it was in that sort of mood uh, shoved towards the upside actually i was looking at a 30 minute chart when i started recording here and it just looking across here looked like it had the had the scope to to continue and you can sort of see the movement the upper higher lows at the moment though no, it's uh where well, it's actually confirmed a lower high that's through here we don't know it may may just hang in there one thing we, we've just uh, been uh, looking at in the room, I, I mean my stop is sitting there, I'll bring it back in to show here, close that, and I'll just show, I mean this is on the, uh, I don't use this platform as such, normally from, uh, it's my LMAX platform, but I use the MT4 version, but I, just to, so I can demonstrate the trade through here, I just popped it through on it, on this version, but my stop sits at 68.716, and well we got pretty close to that. Um, now a couple of people have been stopped um, and it, it brings back to the question of um, stops and when you stop but more important your broker and we just sort of seen the experience there one one broker quoting a four point spread a four pip spread which you, you can get as low as 0 0.6 and, and you just sort of um, you know you're sitting there with 0.4 out uh, of or, or four pips it's a, it's a huge difference and you, you, you know that's going to take you out quite a few times more now I'm not out of this quite yet if it, if it goes on to win it will be very annoying for the person that's been stopped out of already um, I may as I say may get stopped out but it is a sort of a, a case of I mean we talk about it quite regularly we've got a site best brokers online where we just look at the brokers that have got good spreads um, now, the, the, even on those br brokers, I've just had a quick flick through, and you've got brokers with spreads of uh, 0.2, but you, you've got there's course there's the broker I've got here, LMAX, is 0.6 uh, core spreads uh, through their uh, South African outlet there, uh, 0.6. Um, so you've got um, some tight old spreads available to you. So it, it really is. I know we sit there; it's like a bank account. Sometimes you sit there and you don't really want to change your bank account because you're used to them. But uh, it, it, it robs you, um, it may, or it may just stop you earlier. Sometimes it may be just closing something off that's going to close off anyway. It doesn't matter and you, you just overlook it then. But if that goes on and push, it was to push back up, then, then you're not feeling so good. Anyway, 
I'll, I'll pause this for now but we are still in this short but looking around the other markets just really nothing uh, the euro sort of looked like it was going to do something a little bit more earlier on it's pulled back down we, we just got a hell of a lot of consolidation running through the yen actually probably looked about the cleaner one of them eventually when it started taking away but um, um, as I say just just a bit of weakness running right the way through there okay so stopped on the uh, Aussie dollar trade that I took I mean this is just $75 on this account here so the five contracts eventually got stopped anyway so it made a few people feel a bit better the fact that they got stopped about 10 minutes 20 minutes earlier but uh, uh, even so it's just not moving today the uh, these markets particularly they're quite range bound I'm just looking at the pound yen here don't know why probably looking for a trade somewhere there was a bit of oversold signal coming through there but it's finally just got me the pounds rolling over I will look and see if we can catch anything um, I'm not massively confident in the price action that we're seeing it's okay this is the Aussie dollar it's just literally chopped out there it's looking like I haven't extended that trend line looking like it's going to break that trend line and push on further do I want to get onto the south side of it not really it's not really moved too much either way we had a 15 pip stop on it and it's taken it it's taken since 10 o'clock this morning or 9 30 this morning to uh, uh do 15 pips one way so that's not going to happen so at this stage i'm just going to pause this recording and if anything else sets up i'll switch it on otherwise i will be speaking to you in a short while and ending the recording okay so i didn't find another trade i did sit around for quite some time with our room members we're looking at different things there was one or two we possibly missed. The S&P's rolled over a bit quickly. I normally leave it until about three o'clock before going into the uh, futures once the cash market's open, but it started running a bit too early and then, well, it was all, all over. Um, Aussie, well, we ended up on that Aussie trade earlier on with losing one risk, so R1. We, uh, yeah, missed out there. It did eventually roll over properly. I guess the learn for some people today, I say learn, but uh, something that people should take into account, particularly, I mean, the Aussie dollar is, is a major, and to have like four pip spreads on a major such as the Aussie with your brokerage, it's really too big. Uh, you, you, you've got to be looking at the sort of um, two pips or less. Uh, the brokers that we look at all have two pips or less, in fact. Uh, LMAX, the one I use personally, uh, has a has a round about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 spread. Uh, the um, other one that we like uh, in terms of for sh uh, small small spreads is core spreads, and again has about a 0 0.6. So there's there's plenty out there. I will leave a tag to our broker site at the bottom here. So if you if you plan too much, it's at times like that they they got stopped out so much earlier than me. Okay, it still it worked out okay in terms of we all lost. It would have been quite horrible in the sense of they they get stopped and yet the position runs on for a winner that's when it's not good <laughs> at all but if you're sp if you're spending an extra four times uh well, sorry an extra four times three times more for example uh to get into the trade uh think about that in just simply you know three times a pound let's just say so i'm easy with these maths three quid and let's just say and say that you take 50 trades a year okay 150 quid you've wasted in spread on that particular pairing that's been quite sort of you know just for one one currency admittedly but some of the some currencies that i trade the pound yen uh, we've been trading a bit more recently etc some of those have uh, seven pip spreads uh, etc so just do the same multiplication over this as opposed to sitting there in one point mine's 1.1 1, 1, 1 around about 1 1.1 1, 1, the next best one core spreads 2.1 so you do need to look if you're trading some of these and as i said the majors as well they cross some of the cross majors you're still seeing some hefty old spreads so it's it's well worth checking that even if it isn't the cost of getting in and out of the trade which is obviously very important it is that case of uh, you're sitting there with that potential of being stopped out quicker um, yeah, Charlie's had it time and time before I've had it time before where we're still in the trade and people are being stopped out just purely on the basis of the spread not because we've done anything different it's just the spreads chipped them out so anyway that's the thought, thought for Friday's live trading as I say we were well, I was, personally I was down one one reward 
or one risk rather effectively one percent of that account so that's how it is today but uh, plenty plenty more pickings from monday have a great weekend i will speak to you soon bye for now